Okay, today campers, we're going to work on another TV set. This is Jan Sony. It's a KVH um, KVHS 420V high definition CRT type set. Uh, the problem is it's got a, a problem in the power supply or the high voltage. Take a look at it. There's a little uh, trouble light on the front, and when you first turn it on, it blinks four times and it comes on with sound, no picture, and then it shuts off automatically. And then after it's shut off, while it's still plugged in, the little trouble light will blink six times in a row, pause, six times in a row, pause, and it does that continuously. So what we've done is we've removed the, uh, we're going to remove the uh, circuit board, and there's a couple of pulse width modulated, uh, they call PCM chips in there that regulate the uh, high voltage or the voltage going to the flyback transformer. Anyway, that's about all I know. So we're going to get started. It's going to be a big mess. You're going to see lots of wires, circuit board laying all over the place. And this will either work or it'll be complete destruction. This is what you call this is what you call a destructive fix. <laughs> all right. I got a cat helping me too. He's got his eye on everything, right Chaz? Okay, let's get started. Well, we've got the board out. I've taken it out completely. Got all the connectors disconnected. I pushed the TV set back so she could still uh, get to the Direct TV and the DVD player. It's a big monster. It's a 36 inch. Here's the cover that came off of it. This is the kind of set that uh, you're not going to be able to just take it in because it weighs 297 pounds. This will either work or it'll be junk. Wish me luck, boys. Okay, here we are with the uh, Jan Sony TV set that I'm repairing. You'll notice that I've got it laying out here on the on the workbench, and you can see all the components are on this one large circuit board. You'll notice I had to take this part right here. This goes on the back of the CRT and connects uh, connects up to drive the guns, and this is the high voltage cap. 50,000 volts come out of that and goes to the picture tube. And down inside, if you look way down in here, you'll see there's two chips that I have to replace. There's this one right here and this chip right here. I haven't removed this one yet, but it's, it's coming out in a little bit. I'm going to replace them with a couple of sockets, transistor sockets, so go down there. And then I bought, purchased the chips online. There's three of them here in case I screw one up. I only need two. And uh, hopefully that's going to fix this set. It has something to do with the power supply, uh, the high voltage, and uh, my uh, diagnosis has traced it down to those two integrated circuits that control the high voltage generation and all the circuitry involved in it. You'll also notice that I have my, uh, my super dandy uh, soldering iron here. This is a voltage uh, heat control soldering iron. It's designed primarily for uh, working on integrated circuits and computers and things like that. It's a really nice unit. Regulates the temperature of the of the tip on the soldering iron. You can control it anywhere from you know 400 degrees up to maybe 800. A little wick here to clean the clean the tip off. We're going to use this soldering iron to uh, solder in these uh, integrated circuit chips into the board. I got to take it all apart and get that in. So, well, let's get started. I got to finish this thing. Okay, this project is finished. I got those chips in there. Took forever to get them in there. You can see them mounted right down, right there. You can see the two chips. So, the big question is, when I put it all back together and plug it back in, will it work? Well, we'll see later today. All right, check this out. Hey, Chaz, I just fixed your TV, see? I put the circuit board back in, plug, plugged in all the cables and connectors. It was real easy to do. Turned it on. It looks really easy. And check it out. We got a picture. And the picture is just as good. Damn, I'm good. I am so good.